So the topic that we are moving now is manual manipulation. That means managing a dynamic object by manually changing the repository. So in this case, I save this file. In this case, I recorded the script. I have recorded up to the fax order and when we run it is it will fail so I go to the resources I know the object that it's causing the failure so fax order number 154 I know this text property is the one which causes the failure I need to think can I go with native class, ease own window, ease child window. With these three properties, is it possible for me to identify the object uniquely? If answer is yes, I can remove the text property from my description properties. You can note now, even though smart identification is triggered, but I can remove from the description properties that particular property which causes the failure because I am sure the other three properties are sufficient for QTP to identify the object uniquely. With this information I have what I can do is I can run the script now. You can see now he can manage the object without having any problem. You might have also noticed smart identification is triggered but he never uses smart identification. The reason is primary recognition mechanism description properties is sufficient for him to identify the object. Now name is entered, he is inserting the order now, he is selecting file fax, he is now able to enter the fax number without any problem and there is no delay. So there is no delay caused in identifying the object. This is also another method available. So because the reason for this is we are going by default with default configuration of QTP. It might be valid for your application and request or there can be or there need of there may be a need of tweaking your identification properties in this case flight dialog the properties other than text is sufficient for me to manage that object in that situation i can always remove i don't have to go with set to properties identifying the logics for that property and arriving at the logic etc. I can directly manage it with by removing that property provided in future also that set of property is sufficient to manage the repository identification. In this case if I see here if I remove both east own window as well as east child window because I am thinking that native class is sufficient. If I do that, you just see when I run it. Now please note, smart identification is still triggered for this particular recorded event. Because we recorded after smart identification is triggered for dialog object. Now I am executing the script. As I execute the script, you can notice now execution is happening now so he is able to type the fax number even though native class is not unique so in my case he has completed the execution So even though it is not unique, he is able to manage that object without any problem. I open the result. I 
I open the result now. I open the result. It is yet to get mapped. Now, in the result screen, what you see now the originally what we did is when we run we removed before running we removed from the repository native class and the ease own window except native class all other properties are removed when I remove it still he runs without a delay when he runs now you can see directly the object is identified using smart identification because there is no failure in the description properties. Smart identification is invoked reason object not unique. So original description native class is ash32. There was two objects found. Base filter properties we have two objects and optional filter properties is used to identify the object. So in this case he is able to identify the object without having an issue. The reason is smart identification is triggered. I run the script by disabling the smart identification. You see what happens. I go to resource object repository under object repository, I go to the dialog, I go to the resource, I select object repository. In that dialog, in dialog, I am now disabling the smart identification as false. Now, even though it is recorded, but I disable the smart identification. I run the script. As I run the script, you can see now the script fails. It is running now. As it runs, you can see now the script fails when it comes to fax order. So fax number he now uses native class as the property. With native class he is not able to identify the object uniquely. Because of that he now tries to since smart identification is disabled there is no second level configuration. He now fails with the error message more than one object present. Cannot find the fax number so and so verify that parent properties match an object currently displayed and he fails. So this is how manual manipulation is very crucial when you are trying to remove a repository properties. By default he used 4. You made it as 1 then script fails. Now I want to add it back. I can add it back as well. There is no issues. So I can add back the properties that I want to I like to add. So is one window. At least one of this is mandatory. With this now he is unique. So, before doing manual manipulation, things to be noted are, one, you need to understand which property is mandatory 
required for QTP to identify and which are all the properties that are changing. By removing the changing properties, is the other properties sufficient enough to recognize the object uniquely? If this is clear, it is easy to manage man using manual manipulation. This is about 